The opportunity to take fundamental scientific advances into the clinic and see it undergo a trial and then see that the data is spectacular. That's incredibly rewarding and in 2020 it happened twice. Our group has participated in the testing and development of the Moderna vaccine. The other time was with remdesivir, which we had worked on uh, since about 2014. About two to three years before the SARS-2 pandemic, we started testing mRNA-based vaccines against other coronaviruses. About the time that data was rolling out, SARS coronavirus 2 emerged. We were charged very early on to develop uh, animal models of human disease so that we could immediately test these uh, vaccine candidates by April of 2020. We had to have all the data completed by the end of June of 2020 so it could be included in the FDA packets that went forward for approval for phase three testing. So it was a lot of stress on people in the lab. We're going from a new virus that we received in late February to having all of that done by the end of June so that uh, we could begin phase three testing with the Moderna vaccine by August. It was nonstop here for, for several months. I volunteered to be part of the trial. I figured if I was involved in the preclinical development, I should be one of the first ones to see how well it worked in humans. And so I volunteered for the phase three trial. And when they jabbed me in the arm with the vaccine, it was very real. <laughs> I can assure you it was very real. There's a protein here called ACE2. It has spaces in it that this can Perfect. stick into that. And once that happens, boom. Virus goes inside the cell and infects it. That's the infection. This was a collaborative effort. Other key players certainly were Moderna and researchers at the National Institute of Health. The unsung heroes are 15 people in my lab that worked nonstop from February through December. The rapid response in terms of therapeutic antibodies, vaccines, and drugs against COVID-19 is sort of an unparalleled scientific achievement in biology and microbiology and medicine. That entire infrastructure of collaboration and interaction at the public-private interface paid off. It paid off for the American people. Having said that, we can do better. We learned uh, that we need to uh, reinvest in public health. We need to speak with a single voice in a pandemic. And we need to, to figure out how to deal with misinformation on social media, which we have not been able to deal with effectively. We have a new variant, and the lab is gearing up to respond to that variant, to understand its biology, its impact on therapeutics and vaccines and drugs, how best to counter it if some of the uh, products that are on a shelf uh, lose their potency. There's no time to celebrate. I mean, there's just, there's always another variant emerging. There's uh, other other products that need to be tested. We just keep grinding on and on and on, so right now. Investing into looking and studying that basic biology of life will result in modern miracles of medicine. <laughs>